G'day lads and lasses, I am back again, but this is possibly the final installment of an Aussie Answers BuzzFeed, except this time, we're not answering BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed answers us. Now firstly, before I start the video, I'd like to thank all the people who showed support on my previous video, where I was addressing hate comments on my channel. Now the haters did comment down below, and it was good to see that you lads and lasses gave them a thrashing and logical and intellectual proportions. I just thought it'd be funny to make a video like that, but still, you lads and lasses came out and you supported me even though I didn't ask for it. So, I just want to thank you immensely for that. The haters, they can clearly see that they've got a community of nearly 3,000 people against them. So, hopefully, in future, they'll decide before they make a video that maybe it's not such a great idea to take on 3,000 people plus one. So today's video is an Aussie Asks BuzzFeed questions. Now I'm gonna give three of my own questions and then I'm gonna use the questions that you lads and lasses dropped on the last video. And also before we get into that, there is a live stream this Sunday at 6.30. I think we're gonna start it. We're starting live stream at 6.30. There's a special guest appearance, but Aside from all that, let's just get into the video. So BuzzFeed, the first question I have for you is, how does it feel to be the spawn of the SJW culture? I mean, you're probably thinking, sitting there like, oh, we're proud because we're we're changing people's lives through social change. Not really, I, I wouldn't be too proud if I spawned a whole bunch of crybabies who complain about every single thing that has something in it that is considered offensive. So that's the first question. How's it feel to know you spawned the beginning of the end of common sense and people not getting offended? The second question I have, which I did reference in the last video is, Buzzfeed, how does it feel when you're a white person working in a company that constantly harasses people for being white? You're probably sitting there thinking, wait, that's not possible, you can't be racist to white people. No, BuzzFeed actually came up with the idea of not being, that you can't be racist to white people, but as it turns out, you actually can. Things like constantly harassing us for being cisgender males, what the fuck even is cisgender? Constantly harassing us for our white privilege, which I did not ask to be born white, but I still somehow ended up with privilege which means I'm still somehow sitting in my room trying to work four jobs to make a living. It is 35 degrees today. It is hot. I have the fan on, which is interfering with my audio. So if you consider that white privilege, I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of other people could do this too. And we can also reference your notorious series of questions for white people where you get people of a whole bunch of different ethnicities and races to ask people who are white questions. And the final, final third question I have for BuzzFeed before we go into the viewer questions the fuck's up with asking Australia so many stupid questions? Literally, I have seen so many articles on BuzzFeed where you just get the most retarded, asinine questions and you pose it to Australians like, you need to answer this. No, we don't. They're stupid bloody questions. They don't deserve an answer. Half of them aren't even spelt correctly or even typed out correctly. The other half is contextual, so it's like, how am I supposed to answer questions that there's no freaking backstory to? So without further ado, let's get into the viewer questions. Now again, my TV is blocked, so I have to use my high technology of my phone. And while I'm waiting for this to load, lads and lasses, I just wanted to apologize for this video not being up on Thursday. I was called away for hashtag work on Thursday, so I'm here today making the video on a Friday, and hopefully it gets uploaded today. As you can see, there's a previous video that you all so generously asked your questions for BuzzFeed on. So let's go down and we'll see just what questions you have posed to BuzzFeed. Hopefully, BuzzFeed's gonna answer them, but they probably won't because they'll be too busy being racist to everyone. Preferably white people. Question number one from June Jamo. Why the fuck is it your business what us Australians do? Yeah, cunts. Seriously, BuzzFeed. Why do you ask Australians like so many stupid questions and then you just like pose it to us like we have to answer them and we're some backwards nation where we need to answer all your questions and we're constantly your servants to knowledge or some shit. Stop asking stupid questions. Question number two from KH. What's with the fuckwits running your company exactly who comes up with the shit that you post on your website just stop just look actually report on actual news that's the reason philip defranco beat your ass is because people like him even though he's not as popular because he talked about actual news he gives us the facts question from fraser parsons why do americans fuck their cousins i don't think that happens i hope not well actually it might if that's what spawned buzzfeed that would make sense Krubiscus doesn't really say a question more of a statement he says if you say flip-flops and i agree with this 
I will thong you. Question from the doctor. This is actually a good one because you constantly ask us, do we ride emus to school? Do you ride your ego to school? Question from Amazing Noodles. Why the fuck do some of you Americans, mostly Buzzfeed, say that our accents are exotic? Like seriously, do you expect our accents to be like yours? Like, hey, get a mate. I'm Australian. I can't do an American accent. People who live in different countries have been shown three science through statistics, through real fucking life, to have different accents, it does not make it exotic. Exotic means it's like, ooh, I didn't expect that. So, you didn't expect me to speak like this when I came from Australia? You didn't expect a Scotsman to come from Scotland and be like, Aye, I'm Scottish! Did you not expect that? Fuck! <laughs> Question from Charlie Gilford. Gifford? Gifford. It's Gifford. Why are Americans so judgmental towards Australians? When I say America in this video, I'm not addressing America, I'm addressing BuzzFeed because BuzzFeed is the cause of all this shit. Why are BuzzFeed people so judgmental towards Australians? Like, what have we done wrong to you in the past? Actually, yeah, no, that would make sense. And we got a question from xxtaco underscore man pvp xx. And he says, How does the trustworthy Hillary, the warmonger Clinton, still have the support after she continually accuses Russia of things which will lead to a war? Holy shit, we're getting political! But seriously, that's a good question, BuzzFeed. What is with your presidential race? Now, I know the vote's only... Fuck, it's only four days away. We've only got four days to just sort out our affairs and live out our lives because the world is going to end. Because you're either going to elect Hillary Clinton, who wants war, or Donald Trump, who's... I have no words for Donald Trump. Why? Just why would you support someone like... Wh why would you just go vote independent? Like, that's the one thing I don't understand about American politics. Everyone's like, Oh, I don't know whether to vote for Trump or vote for Hillary or not vote at all. There are independent candidates. People who aren't running either for Republican or for Democratic Party. They're running their own parties. They're independent candidates and they've probably got better policies than both of them. And then the next question from Jason Warren was... Why would you choose either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? That's that's another good question, but we've just addressed that. Independent candidates, Americans. Vote independent. Question from R.I.P. Harambe. Dicks out. Why do you call gobbies blowjobs? Unless you were a prostitute, it's not a job. And where the fuck does a blow come from? Exactly, like... <sighs> I don't think it works like that. Luke Stubbs asked, Why do your questions give everyone a hard time? Another good question. Why, why do they give us a hard time? Because you're asking stupid questions! Elite Gamer 249 asks, Why the fuck do Americans know hardly nothing about any other countries and Australia? America and BuzzFeed, you're not the only social networking giant in the world. As I said, Philip DeFranco won over you. And he's way better than you, by the way. I could watch his shit all day. I watch one of your videos and it gives me AIDS, okay? Your posts. They give me AIDS. That could be taken so wrong. B Egan, vegan, vegan the vegan asks, Why are you so damn stupid? That's another great question. June Jemmo. He's not really asking another question. He's just saying, prune minimum. Seriously. Gabby Grimaldi asks, Why do you act like you know everything but always come off as a dickhead? Well, it is BuzzFeed, so that's to be expected. Dead Eye Nick asks, What's with your retarded spelling? Seriously, like... Come on, just spell things the way they're meant to be spelled. I know you spell them how they sound, but mum does not sound like mom. Lauren Gallagher asks, Why the heck do Americans eat spoonfuls of Vegemite? You know when you eat Vegemite, if you're not accustomed to spoonfuls of it, it's a bit like whiskey. You know, people have been drinking whiskey for years, they can sip whiskey from a glass, but when you're starting out, you sort of have to shot it. Or any sort of alcohol like that. So Vegemite's much the same, because again, it's created from the leftover shit that they use to make beer. So... You know, when you're starting out with Vegemite, you get your toast, you spread on a nice thin layer, probably add some cheese on top, or you can just have it like a sandwich like that, it's delicious. And you eat that, it's like, oh, Vegemite's good. But if you go and eat spoonfuls of it first, I've seen so many bloody videos where Americans would be like, oh, I tried Australian food, so they get the Vegemite, and they put a spoon in. We don't eat it like that. Some of us do, but most of us don't. We get a butter knife, we take a nice thin layer, spread it on our bread. If we've got any left over, put it back in the jar because that shit's delicious. So retarded. Then Eclipse Assassin asks, BuzzFeed, why do you work at a place where you constantly attack and shame white people for being white? Same question I asked at the start. Why? June Jammo has a second question. It is simply, why? Why, BuzzFeed? Matthew Connolly asks, why so many hipster bigots? BuzzFeed, you're the center of all hipsterism. Then from Plague Gaming says, why is Australia's correct use of the English language not American and our shortening of words so funny to you? That's a great question. Why is it funny or weird when I shorten McDonald's to Maccas? Ho 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 ho, you said Maccas. What the fuck is wrong with you? Alex Brown asks a good question. BuzzFeed, why the epitome of getting offended? Like literally everything, that's true. You're getting offended over. 
Like, you're getting offended over fucking everything. It's retarded. And then the final question, again, from Taco Man, for fuck's sake. He asks, why is my penis so small? Well, Taco Man, how about we don't talk about your penis? And we turn the conversation around to BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed, why are you such soft, small cocks? Seriously, like... It's getting offended over everything, and I know I've made that point multiple times in the past. This video probably wasn't really funny, but that's because we're asking actual genuine questions to BuzzFeed. Like, BuzzFeed, why do you get offended over everything? Why is there an obsession with asking Australia stupid bloody questions? And why, on earth, oh for the love of God, why are your penises so small and so soft? Okay, fuck. I don't know why we directed the attention to your dick, but that's because you are a dick. Anyway, lads and lasses, that is all from me. Now, I think this is the end of the series, so I'm, I'm quite sad. I'm like, it's been a long ride. I don't know. I don't know if this is the end of the series, because like I said, BuzzFeed, they could put out another video asking Australia stupid bloody questions. So, it is completely up to them whether or not this is the end of the series. Now, if they put out another article, I will, of course, answer it, but... Like I said, the series is getting a bit overused, so we're going to switch to other videos. Um, we're still going to keep it Australia related. Still going to build an audience. And yeah, so thank you very much for... I know a lot of you have watched every single video on the series since I posted the one like over a year ago. I know a lot of you have actually been here from like when I only had 100 subscribers and now we're approaching 3,000 pretty bloody quickly. So thank you all for that. Thank you for following the series. Now, like I said... This may be the end of the series, it may not, so, um, I don't know, I'll just say this is the end of the series indefinitely until BuzzFeed either posts another article or I come across one that's just begging to be answered or you link me one, but like I said, the series is getting a little bit old and um, so it's time to move on to something else and we may come back to it later, but that is all for me. So remember, there is a live stream on Sunday at 6.30 at night, Australian Eastern Standard Time, so if you're in WA, ya tosses. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Now, this is probably going to be around a two-hour live stream, hour and a half, but there's going to be a special guest coming. This one's going to actually, like, have an actual proper layout, but it's still going to be pretty chill. So, drop by. The one I had did last Sunday, um, that hour only felt like 10 minutes. I had a lot of fun doing that. It was great to talk to you lads and lasses. So, make sure you get on it. I'm posting a reminder today. So, that's all for me. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want to be a sick cunt, I'll see you on the live stream Sunday and in the video next week if you miss it. Catch you then. Bye.